Chicken chasseur. Chicken chasseur. Whichever way you select and dice it, it's simply translated to hunter's chicken. What that is, is we make use of mushrooms, desired cuts of chicken, some red wine. If you want to, you can use red wine vinegar if you don't have access to uh, red wine. And then you add mushrooms, parsley, and voila, it is delicious. Of course, it can't be French without butter, right? So let's go make some chicken chasseur. I'll see you in the kitchen. Chef Priscilla, you made that here? A perfect bowl of chicken chasseur during cold weather or spring is always a delicious thing to have. This is how you can make it and how I made mine. I chose chicken thighs because they are bone in and have more flavor, all right? Season generously with salt and pepper. Okay, so now we're going to now make a dredge, have flour, Priscilla's or purple seasoning. You have to have the spices, guys. Get on my website and shop. Add a little bit of salt for me dredge and then slightly coat those chicken thighs. You need it lightly, guys. It's going to provide texture and crispy skin. Let's work on mushrooms while that we set that aside. I have two blends. King oyster mushroom, which is the one I'm cutting now, and the other small one are shimejis. They are brown. They provide sweetness and undernote of uh, meatiness, all right? Okay, set that aside and let's heat our pan on oil to a medium heat. Now, bring, first you want to sear the season side or skin on side, all right? Season till it's perfectly golden brown as base. All right, season both sides and set it aside. Look at the bottom. Those brown colors are formed. Don't mess with them. They are flavor. You need it. Toss in your mushrooms and we're going to add some onions. And we're going to soften this. We're not seeking to brown. Soften and we're going to stir together with some ginger and garlic. Stir till it's combined. If you notice, no salt yet, right? Now, set that aside. Take it out of the heat. We have more fun at the bottom. A little bit of oil. Let's make some roux. Roux is equal part of flour and fat by weight. And that's what I did. I added some thyme. And now I'm going to cook that till it's slightly, uh, it's no longer raw. About one to two minutes. I added brandy. What is chicken chasseur without a French, what, or what is French food without brandy, right? I also added a blend of red wine and a little bit of beef bouillon. So give me this brown color which is what we want to achieve you can either add a color in itself or add flavorful nutritious things to make your color here you go i toss in the chicken and i'm also tossing in the mushroom and let's sold the chicken in cover and let that i also added a little more moisture because i want it to breathe 20 minutes later my chicken is soft tender now you want to finish with parsley let me tell you you can add more butter or you can leave it as is it's chicken shasa on the menu today and it's delicious how would you make yours? I would like to see your pictures and what you did or your video. I'll see you in the next class. Thank you for watching. Bye.